With years of experience, we've developed a process to introduce Simiox to a new patient. The first impression is particularly important and will influence patient compliance with all their subsequent treatment with Simiox. We recommend that you follow these steps, as the success of each step will determine the success of those subsequent. Before beginning the first session with Simiox, you can have the patient experience the effect of Simiox on yourself. That is, you place your patient's hand on your thorax, you inhale, and on exhalation, you activate Simiox so that your patient will feel the vibrations generated by Simiox in your bronchial tree. In this way, they will understand that all the vibrations are directed towards the lungs and not generated in the mouth or the nose. They can also appreciate that your thorax is compliant and that it's capable of moving under their hand. We begin by explaining to the patient what Simiox will do for them. That is, it will liquefy their mucus and make it easier to mobilize and expectorate, as well as allowing them to retrieve the air trapped in their lungs, to access their expiratory reserve volume more easily and reduce their thoracic hyperinflation. We explain to the patient that Simiox will extract small volumes of air from inside their lungs, that they will feel this signal from Simiox as a vibration inside their thorax. It is this vibration that causes the liquefaction of mucus during the expiratory phase. It is also important important to explain to the patient that the more they call upon their expiratory reserve volume, the better and more effective will the session be. A calm respiratory rate is an important prerequisite for using Simiox. This therefore means that your patient should be completely relaxed. Several tools are available to the physiotherapist to achieve patient relaxation. It's possible to use cardiac coherence, awareness of thoracoabdominal breathing, massage and stretching, as well as setting up their patient in a relaxed position, which is fundamental. At each initial session, we always begin by using just the mouthpiece without connecting it to the Simiox tubing. In this way, you can check the patency of your patient's upper airways and also their ability to release a good quality breath when they exhale. This step is also very important as it allows you to check that the patient positions the mouthpiece correctly in their mouth. That is, that the lips are placed on the thinnest part of the mouthpiece, which ensures that the tongue is positioned underneath the mouthpiece. To check the permeability of the nose, close your patient's mouth and ask him to breathe in fully through both nostrils at the same time then through one nostril and then the other alternately. Place your hand or your patient's hand in front of the mouthpiece to check the quality of the breath released on each exhalation. The moister and warmer the breath, the better the quality. While positioning of the mouthpiece, do not give your patient too much guidance. Let them do it and correct them if necessary. During this step, if you place your hands on your patient's thorax, you can feel their tidal volume, their respiratory rate, and locate their tidal volume within their total ventilatory capacity. The mouthpiece also acts like a microphone. Once in place, it will allow you to hear the breath sounds in your patient's mouth more easily. In this way, you'll be able to locate the secretions in the bronchial tree and decide at which respiratory level your simiox session should begin to be more effective. You can connect the mouthpiece to the tube and give the Simiox remote control to your patient. Let the patient press the remote control once, so that they understand that they have control and that they must maintain pressure through the entire expiratory phase. For the first session, begin at 25% power, so that your patient has the gentlest experience possible. For the first session, as for the following ones, select Program 3. Your patient can now place the mouthpiece in their mouth and activate Simiox for the first time, to feel the effect of Simiox, i.e. the vibrations in the thorax. Do not try to prolong the exhalation for too long, and to recruit the expiratory reserve volume immediately, which risks triggering a cough. Do not use a nose clip when using Simiox. In effect, the nose is a natural regulator of flow and filters and warms and humidifies the air so that it reaches your patient's lungs in the best condition. The two main objectives for your first session will be to obtain a slow nasal inhalation from your patient without too much recruitment of the IRV and an exhalation with real deflation of the thorax. Also ensure that your patient really feels the vibrations of Simiox in their thorax and not in their mouth or nose. Finally, ensure that you feel the vibration generated by Simiox under your hands in the expiratory phase and also the deflation and flexibility of the ribcage.